79.9 the price. 1% roll, that'd be us renting it for 800. We're not renting it for 800. 2% roll, oh, that'd be 1600, okay? But we are not going to be able to get 1600 in rent because, in fact, we are going to be able to get 2400, folks. So that is over 3%, right? Holy s. Is that what I think it is? Just a ton of blunt cuts, dude. Jesus. Is that actually all blunt cuts? Yeah. Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sales Show. Folks, thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't wise to you, giving it to you straight. Section 8 in Cleveland, y'all. That's what you want to do. That's the name of the game. If you're interested in Section 8 properties, I got one for you. 928 Paxton. This is a triplex, and this thing is, uh, if I was like one of those like 50-year-old white woman realtors with the pearl necklaces, I'd say this one needs a little bit of uh, elbow grease, okay? But I'm not a 50-year-old white woman with a pearl necklace, so I will tell it to you straight. This house is all sorts of fucked up, bros. Uh, this thing got shredded, okay? Uh, Out-of-state investor bought it a few years ago. And they ended up having uh, some issues with their property manager and the thing sat vacant and then it got broken into and some stuff got stolen, right? So you're going to be needing to spend a little bit of money on water tanks, new electrical panels, furnaces, right? Because all that stuff, when somebody breaks in, you know, they're stealing that stuff. They're scrapping it, right? There's big money. Well, not really big money, but like if you're a junkie, it's decent money for a junkie, right? Like, you know, you could take some metal, some copper, take it down to the local scrap yard and get yourself some fentanyl. You're rocking and rolling, man. So that's probably what happened here. But the cool thing, y'all, is their loss happens to be your gain because you want to talk about it being 2024 and people can't hit the 1% rule. Well, how about like the freaking, I don't know, I think this would be like a 3% rule, right? 79.9 is the price. 1% rule, that'd be us renting it for 800. We're not renting it for 800. 2% rule, oh, that'd be 1600, okay? But we are not going to be able to get 1600 in rent because, in fact, we are going to be able to get 2400, folks. So that is over 3%, right? What's my math? 8, 16, 24. 24, that is exactly 3%, okay? You know. Not the greatest off the top of my head in math. Who needs to know math when you're constantly running numbers for properties all day, every day, right? But look, seriously, it's jacked up right now, okay? You got to go in. You got to renovate it, right? You're going to have to, you know, fix up all the mechanicals that are missing. The roof is a little older. It's still got a little bit of life left in it. And then, of course, you're going to have to redo the interior units that, you know, look very much like junkies ransacked it, okay? But once you do that, y'all, you're looking at freaking $2,400 a month in rent, right? $2,400 a month. That, folks, that's why people come to Cleveland. And when you put your tenants in there at those rental rates, I highly suggest you do so with Section 8, right? Because this, folks, if you haven't noticed... This is a property that is in a rougher area, and if it's totally vacant, you're going to be prone to issues like you see these current folks dealing with, people breaking in, right? So what you want to do, and the power of multifamily in these rougher neighborhoods and the power of Section 8, they go hand in hand here. You see, you reduce your risk greatly because in these types of neighborhoods, Section 8 tenants, they're the reliable tenants, okay? A lot of tenants, low-quality tenants. This is the ghetto, right? You're, you're dealing with tough stuff. It's a rough neighborhood. There's a high amount of crime, right? So you have a, a high-risk like tenant base that's going to be willing to live in a neighborhood like this, right? So you get your Section 8 tenants. They're going to be much less risky than your cash-paying tenants because the biggest factor to a neighborhood like this is the fact that people don't always pay their rent. And then they don't pay their rent. You have to evict them. Then the house goes vacant. Then when the house is vacant, other people who are even worse vandalize the fuck out of it, as you can see, right? Right? So if you get Section 8 tenants in there, by and large, they stay way longer because their rent is always paid by the government. And the fact that there is three units here means even when you are doing your turnovers, even though those turnovers would be less frequent than if you didn't go Section 8, when you're doing one of those turnovers, you still have a couple other people living there, which protects the property from a break-in like this. So if you manage it right, if you manage it properly, if you put the right types of tenants in there, you could turn this dud 
into a big amount of cash flow. If that makes sense for you guys, you want to put in an offer, send it to my team, sales at holdenwise.com. If before you put in that offer, you want to tour it yourself to put together the line by line bid for that renovation because it's going to be pricey, right? You know, you're just looking at probably furnaces, you're probably looking at like 10 hot water tanks. You know, probably four plus some of the plumbing. You probably might be like, you might be looking at like HVAC 10, plumbing 10, five in electrical, that's 25, cosmetic stuff. I mean, you could be looking at like a fifty, sixty thousand dollars reno by the time you get it all put back together. You got to get it lead certified. So you're going to want to really get in there and do a line by line bit. So if you want to do that, just let us know. Send us an email, sales at holtonwise.com. We'll get you in the property same day if you hit us up before five. Uh, if you hit us up after five, we'll probably get you in there the very next day. And then you could submit those offers. Like I said, sales at holtonwise.com, cash offers. Uh, if you're going to finance, you need to go hard money or private. Conventional won't work for this. If you need hard money or private money loans, you need investor loans, just let me know, man. I got a whole Rolodex of investors, y'all. I've been doing this a long time. I'm sure you know who I am if you're investing in the Cleveland market. Market, but Holton Weiss has done over 200 million in sales of properties just like this for those few uh, folks out there who don't know who we are. Let's go. I know. What? I can't wait to come about it. <laughs> Dude, that's like one of those things back in the day. Like when you're a kid, you're like, that'd be fucking sweet. And it's like actually a real thing you can do. That's pretty cool that you you can become a bounty hunter. Yeah, outside of this doesn't look too awful. It's aluminum sided. That's concerning. You wanna come back and oh. This being open. Yeah. Look like, like them wonder if there's water in the basement. This is also concerning too how this door has been kicked in. <laughs> hey Derek, good news. You don't need keys. <laughs> yeah, right? You think there's people up on the third floor? Uh maybe because the window's open. Yeah, who likes to deal with steps like that <sighs> That's true. Well, well, I guess we go make our presence known and hopefully they just allow us to film and get out. I think maybe it's just a hangout spot. Nice bullet hole here. Just cover that up. There's a, a back door's kicked in. Is it? Yeah. You want to go in through the front or you want to go in through that door? Going through the front. Yeah, I figure I going in through the front gives us an opportunity to make noise and that leaves that. That's pretty cool. Yeah, uh, cover it. <laughs> Holy cell as well. Bunch of shit in there. There's gonna be shit in there. Pairs of Crocs. Remember, if there's danger, I'm gonna throw them. I'm gonna do this, blind them, and you sock them in the face. Okay. Or maybe I'll sock them in the face. You're gonna have a camera. Camera's pretty heavy. I could just swing it at him. <laughs> Blind him. 
Have you ever gotten knocked the fuck out with a camera before? Hey, sorry, John. Uh, you gotta buy a new camera. Need. We have a second one. Yeah, but you gotta always have a bad one. Alright, let's have Vince go make some noise. We'll go in. Yeah, is it keys or... Let's do the... the oh. So I guess this is lower. This is lower, yeah. Okay. Whatever he said. Sounds like a good song. 8802. Does that mean it's unlocked? There we go. Hmm. Maybe we have to go through the side door. Yeah, I don't know. Is it? It seems like it might be blocked. Yeah, it's blocked. Well, I guess I'll lock it. Yeah. I think maybe you just have to hit the lock button. <laughs> okay. All right, the car. Right. I'll leave you alone. <laughs> Honestly, it's probably gonna be a terrible thing if they lead hazards. Yeah, I saw that. I filmed that. You wanna try this one? Anyway. They're really gonna post this shit on people's doors? Well, we have lead fucking water lines. Thanks, Cleveland. That one. Yeah, one. try it again. Try that same code. But that pull, code? Yeah, whatever code you use there. Now hit the unlock button. Pull the door towards you. There you go. Hello? Hello? You see that spiderweb going across the door right in front of you? It's on my fucking pants! Fuck! Oh. I looked on my finger now, dude! It's ah. the strongest fucking shit ever, dude. Right. Vince, you want us to come behind you or you want us to wait? You can come behind me. Alright, I'll come behind you. Start strobing right now. Fuck. Hello? Thank you. Can you go play chess? No. Anybody here? Just doing our job. Yeah, honestly, if you're here, I don't care. Yeah, exactly. It's fun. Just the third unit, right? Third unit, but there's no door, I don't think. Holy shit. Is that what I think it is? Jesus. Is that actually all blunt cuts? Yeah. A table filled with, I mean, you can see the black and white fucking. All right, camera adjust, there we go. Stay on my shot, dude. You're my shot. Not this unit. Back there, it is kicked in. That's. Did you really go up or down first? I think probably up. I gotta go do these bedrooms off here to the left or to the right. Oh, 
the ceiling. Well, it's not really helping because it's so shitty and dim. Bathroom. Are you guys upstairs? I'm about to oh. They're definitely coming in and out of here if they're fucking. It must be a slow spot. Yeah, there's a. Yeah. There's a Who pillow the fuck in the corner. sleeps on the floor like this, dude. I mean, if you don't got anywhere else to go. Yeah, I guess it beats getting rain, though. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, are we clear up here? I didn't go up here yet. Oh, okay. Sorry. I didn't mean to wander off on you guys. Yeah, you're filming, I under I understand this is not a Hello. The lighting in here sucks, dude. Excuse me. Yeah, you're good. We're clear though. We're clear. In here, yeah. I don't want to go down the uh, common hall. Just in case. Well, it looks pretty grody if you look at it. Okay. Like the other, like the other way, there's like fresh poop on the second floor, first floor, second floor landing. Bro, somebody like look at that. Somebody. Are they just sleeping in there? Maybe. What the fuck? I thought people were sleeping in there for a second, but <laughs> just a weird little hole with sheets for some reason. Weird. A lot of weird shit. You know what this kind of reminds me of? What? Like a, a like it's got a Resident Evil feel to it. <laughs> Like it's eerie, but at the same time, how, wait, how are we going to get down to the first floor? Oh, we got to go through that other common door, huh? Um, we can either go down the uh, common hall or you can come out of the way. Yeah. Might be worth peeking our head into that other way. The side door. Yeah. Derek, you still down here on the landing? Okay. I don't know if you want to go back hallway, because there's literal piece of shit like all over the place. Yeah, it's, we saw it from up there, but I want to kind of... We, this is, uh, this is I mean, what, can we just go in the back fucking door that's not there? Yeah, that's kind of what we were just talking about. Yeah, it looks like people are just breaking into sleep in here. All right, well, I guess we go down in through the bottom level. Yeah. Like the, and then try to go in through that door. That's probably your best bet. No, I'm talking about, I'm talking about. Shit. It's a lot of waste at the back of you. I don't know, right? My buddy, you should fucking reroll that with a cigarette. You should you should Snapchat him and text him the address and be like, dude, free rolling. <laughs> also a bunch of filters too. Well, we probably got that one poisoning. 
you get that 220 line coming through the vent in the kitchen? Yes. This one is fucking weird to barricade it. It's barricaded. I wonder. Trash. Yeah. But yeah, I was telling them I think our best to even get it back here. Wanna crawl in there? Nah. Go ahead, Eric. <laughs> He just kicked it in here. That's what you want to see. I got the book. How's that third floor? Pretty empty. Can I go to the basement first? Yeah, might as well. I mean, chances are if we're running into people, it's down there. Might not be able to get into this. Or a fresh floor unit if it's not a uh, well digital lock up here. It's probably careful on these steps; they're all fucking broken. Uh, chances are it's kicked in like the other ones. These are the yeah. last goal. This is all you're gonna get though, because I'm sure these. Yep. Like it'll be gone next time. Most of this will be gone probably next time we come. I'm surprised these are still here. Yeah, that's, anyway. that's 25 bucks, dude. There's like webs everywhere. You want to walk all the way back there? No, no, this is good. They can see. It's just a vacant. They don't even have a water meter. It's right there, you see? Yeah. It's got like a piece of wood holding up the landing or something. Love to see it. Derek outside? Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, don't make spooky sounds. I, I know. I as soon as I hit the door, I was like, ah. Can we get in? It's kicked in. Yep. Mm -hmm. Plug. Hello? Me, 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 me. Against it? Yeah. Where are you, Derek? He's outside. Probably just peek your head in and peek the camera in. You probably don't want to step on it. Yeah, no. Oh, there you go. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'll let you go through. Bathroom's rock. Yeah, it's nice. 
Well, if they weren't breaking in through kicking the door, then they could definitely get in through this fucking broken ass bathroom window. Wii Sports? Resort, baby. I don't think I ever played that one. Cool. Well. Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. Let's get out of here. Sorry to disturb you. You can resume your activities. We're leaving. Yeah, if you are hiding in here, you are fucking awesome at it. <laughs> I mean, I'm not. I'm not trying to find people, so. Yeah, right? Look at this thing, second one's two. That's a wrap. It was a little eerie there in that first one. Look at all these webs on me. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.